okay, having read twice documented assumptions about this lottery, let's take a look at how this might work. So what are the annual payments you would receive 20 years after tax? Well, the first thing that we have to figure out is that we have a lottery that's coming to you at an amount of a million dollars per year for 20 years, but you're going to pay one minus that tax rate of 25%. So you're going to get only $750,000 after you pay that 25% tax every year. So what if you went ahead and calculated the present value of those payments so that you could figure out if you want to receive that right now? So there is no specific future value in here, but what there is then is a payment that comes $750,000, and that's your after-tax payment every year. The rate that we are using to calculate this is then a 10% interest rate, and then the number of periods we're talking about in here would be a 20-year period. So the present value of at a rate of 10% for 20 years, a $750,000 annual annuity with no future value would be like $6.85 million. What I like about seeing that is if we think about that last problem that we did with annuities over here. What that tells me is that if I wanted to receive these, a payment of $750 per year, and I got an interest rate of 10% over 20 years, this is the cost. That's the annuity price to me, or its equivalent value. So what would be the amount of a one-time payment after tax? Because my last would be take a $13 million payment, but pay 35% tax on it. So the lottery amount would be this 13.5 million. The tax that we've been doing all along has been tax multiplied by the tax rate gives us 4.725 million, or then we just take the lottery amount minus the tax. And so we'd much rather have an 8.775 million payout right now than 750 a year for 20 years at 10% because the present value of this one-time payment is better.